A warm welcome everyone to the final day of the Cherie Blair Foundation for Women's Women Entrepreneurs Mean Business Summit. My name is Helen McEachran and I am the CEO of the foundation. The foundation exists to eliminate the global gender gap in entrepreneurship. It's currently estimated to take 268 more years to close the economic gender gap. And we refuse to wait that long. Women face significant economic, social and legal barriers to setting up and running their own businesses with gender bias and norms expressed through gender stereotypes as a root cause for many. Not only does this mean millions of women are not fulfilling their potential, but also the world is losing the solutions, innovations and impact these women's businesses could have. And we are losing trillions of dollars from the global economy. This is both a human rights and an economic tragedy. We work at the foundation to remove these barriers through our development programs, which include training provided locally and on apps, cross-border online mentoring, global advocacy, and research with women entrepreneurs in low and middle income countries. Every entrepreneur I've met since I've joined the foundation has been an incredible person, resilient, driven, passionate, and totally committed to their business. But unfortunately, every woman I've met has also spoken about the impact of the stereotypes they are battling on many fronts. The lack of support or encouragement from people around them, the criticisms, even willful sabotage of their efforts, often by those closest to them. Many speak of the stereotypes they face when they try to access finance, markets or networks to help their businesses grow. So at the foundation, when we were prioritising the issues on which we could advocate for women entrepreneurs, gender stereotypes ended up very high on the list. As we researched the area, though there was high level acknowledgement of the problem, from even the UN Secretary General, we discovered that there was little specific data looking at the impact on women business owners of gender stereotypes. Our first stop has been to survey women entrepreneurs themselves to find out more about their lived experience. This is what I'll be taking you through today, our newly released research report, Gender Stereotypes and Their Impact on Women Entrepreneurs, its key insights and recommendations. Over July and August this year, we ran an online survey with women entrepreneurs in low and middle income countries. This was circulated widely through our networks and those of our partners around the world. We received responses from over 200 women entrepreneurs across 42 countries with some incredible insights and feedback. These responses showed, unsurprisingly, unfortunately, that gender stereotypes affect most women entrepreneurs. They start early, shape women's journeys to entrepreneurship and can have a lasting impact on aspirations, confidence and behaviour. An enormous 96% of entrepreneurs who responded to the survey told us that they had experienced or heard gender stereotypes in their life. These stereotypes enter women's lives at a very early age. Over three quarters of the women we surveyed had experienced them before the age of 18. 75% experience these childhood stereotypes from family members. Half the women experience them from media and half again in education. Most commonly, entrepreneurship emerged as a career choice in teenage years or early adulthood, with many women starting their businesses at an early age and only a quarter were aged over 36 when they became entrepreneurs. Shockingly, a third of the respondents said that gender stereotypes experienced in childhood made them feel like they wouldn't be able to run a business on their own. When they told others about their plans to start a business, around half had supportive and encouraging reactions from family, friends and colleagues, which is great. However, half did not. A significant number faced opposition or concern or didn't even tell others about their plans in the first place for fear of concerns. Although experiences and expressions of gender stereotypes are widespread and diverse, there are some trends that we'd like to share. 
Women business owners all over the world are very often faced with stereotypes that they should be staying at home, being mothers and wives. Half told us their family members or friends have told them to focus more on family or children. These stereotypes intersect with others like age, social class, ethnicity, faith, disability, for example, increasing the discriminatory effects. Unfortunately, these, these stereotypes don't stop at the individual level. There are structural issues as well. Nearly half of respondents felt that they don't have equal opportunities as entrepreneurs in their country. And over half felt that institutions relevant to entrepreneurs are biased in favour of men. The impact of gender stereotypes on women's rights and opportunities of, as entrepreneurs is really significant. 70% said that gender stereotypes have negatively affected their work as an entrepreneur. Almost two thirds, two thirds believe that gender stereotypes affect how seriously they're taken as business owners. There are suspicions about biz women business owners that become discrimination, that a business would be more successful if run by a man, assumptions that men are or should be in charge or that women simply aren't trustworthy as leaders of businesses. And nearly a quarter reported experiencing gender stereotypes or discrimination on the grounds of gender whilst trying to access finance, which is essential for businesses to grow. Women found that financial institutions were biased in favour of men. Understandably, with all these barriers before women, it affects their confidence. 31% said that they struggled to believe in themselves and their ability to run a successful business due to the stereotypes and that these had therefore limited their aspirations. And nearly half of the women reported that gender stereotypes made them work harder and wanted to prove people wrong about what they can do. We know that encouraging women to start, sustain and grow their businesses requires a more supportive entrepreneurial ecosystem and increasing visibility of successful women entrepreneurs. Three quarters of the women verified that a more supportive ecosystem would have encouraged them to start their own business. The media is a major culprit in perpetuating gender stereotypes, but it could also be part of the solution. 68% of the respondents said that seeing more successful women entrepreneurs represented in adverts and TV and on social media would have encouraged them to start their own business. And nearly half the respondents reported that having more supportive family or friends would have further encouraged them. So this is really something that we all need to take on as individuals. I guess you might, might wonder, well, why does it matter? Why should we care about all this? Investing in women entrepreneurs is a win-win for women themselves and for many, many others. It is a fact that women entrepreneurs are more likely to invest back in their families and communities. Their businesses are more likely to provide important services and opportunities to their communities and society. But this is also a matter of global significance. Research we co-published with Boston Consulting Group in 2019 showed that if women and men participated equally as entrepreneurs, global GDP could rise as much as 6%, boosting the global economy by up to 5 trillion. With all this in mind, I'll summarise. We'd like this report, Gender Stereotypes and Their Impact on Women Entrepreneurs, to be a catalyst for action. It is a first step in our own policy work around gender stereotypes in entrepreneurship, and it will inform the programs we run and the training we offer women. But it is also crucially sets out detailed and wide ranging initial recommendations for all readers and stakeholders. To summarise, we'd recommend everyone and all of us here today and beyond increase the understanding of the ways gender stereotypes shape women's lives. We call on others to raise awareness about gender stereotypes, particularly how they shape the realisation of rights and equal opportunities. And finally, we ask global stakeholders to take concrete measures to prevent and eliminate gender stereotypes and their negative impacts. I encourage you to download our new research report from our website. 
And because there's no time like the present, I'd also want to invite you all here today to take a pledge now. Through Women Entrepreneurs Mean Business Summit, we're calling for all individuals to make a pledge across the four action pillars, educate, participate, advocate and donate to end the gender stereotypes that hold women entrepreneurs back. You can download the pledge card here and hop in. If you like, share it over social media with your pledge and make sure you use the hashtag WeMeanBusiness21. And don't forget to get in touch with us at the Foundation if you'd like to discuss our research or a potential partnership or collaboration. Thanks so much for hearing more about the report. I hope you'll join us on our mission to end gender stereotypes blocking women entrepreneurs because we are not going to wait 268 years for women's economic equality. And we really hope you won't either. Thank you.